What's the perfect thing to do when you're being arrested? Propose. Of course. Today on the show. Good morning, Scallywags. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Yeah. 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 What did you do this weekend? Unfortunately, I worked. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping for something exciting there, but not to be. Anyway, it's Monday. We're back again. It's uh, what you might have missed, and uh, we got a few stories here to uh, hopefully entertain. And uh, we're Missed going back to robots. We haven't talked to robots in a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, we haven't actually. Yeah. It's been a few weeks. Tell me, tell me all about it. Well, apparently, uh, in Washington, they've now got uh, security robots patrolling certain areas. This one was a little down and couldn't take it anymore. He had to commit suicide. Too much. Too much. July 18th, so just a couple days ago, uh, officials at Washington, D.C.'s office building, patrolled by a security robot, are investigating, af or investigating, investigating after workers reported the robot drowned itself. <laughs> Uh, NPR Realty announced last week there was a new sheriff in town, uh, namely the K5 security robot developed by Silicon Valley startup Nightscope. But Bal Farouk, a worker at the office complex, tweeted a photo Monday revealing the mechanical guard met with a watery end. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. It's truly sad. Uh, he went on to say later that uh, not only were there no people harmed in any way, Except the robot. Except the robot. Um, but we were promised flying cars. Instead, we got suicidal robots. <laughs> Makes me think of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Right? Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. the uh, robot had the brain the size of a planet. Hmm. Is I don't know what his problem was, but I mean, so I guess ours aren't as bright as the ones in Arabia? No, I guess not. I mean, they've got RoboCops in, in, over in Dubai and... Uh, you know what you that robot robo needed, right? Priests over he there. He needed a priest to operate yeah, his yeah, last rites. Yeah, he needed rites. a robo priest. He needed a robo priest to conduct last rites. Maybe the RoboCop could have talked him down. But, <laughs> instead, but instead, we get suicidal robo security cones. It doesn't even look like a robot. It doesn't. It I mean, we're like gonna. Like here's a, a picture of it. Well, you, yeah, and you've already seen the picture. Yeah, we've already seen a picture one. of it several times. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. So, unfortunate, sad news to start we us go off from on Monday. One law enforcement... But so uh, let's talk about something happy. Yeah. So uh, kind of as we mentioned before there, you know, what, what's the perfect thing to do if you're being arrested? Pop the question. Obviously. Of course. Uh, cops in Muskogee, Oklahoma, say that they arrested 35-year-old Brandon Thompson. This is back on the 4th of July. Uh, he was arrested on six felony warrants, and uh, they were leading him to a waiting police car when he made an unusual request. Uh, he asked the officer if he could propose. And uh, the officer said, you want to do that now? Basically, he says, well, yeah, I want to propose to her. Uh, arresting officers who cuffed Thompson while he was celebrating not only Independence Day, but also his birthday, took a little pity on him, you know, being the 4th of July and also the dude's birthday. He's going away on six felony charges. Uh, gets down on one knee and pops the question right there. And in case you're wondering, yes, she said yes. Why? Well, you know, I mean, that's... that's love the, uh, prevails. Yeah. I guess that's the moral of the story is love <sighs> prevails. They, they were nice enough to uh, to move the cuffs around to the front so he could place the oh, engagement that was, ring on that, her finger. Oh, that was awful nice so, of him. I mean, that, yeah. So very, very nice of him. Uh, the the, uh, the officer actually actually tweeted about it. Uh, said that it's not every day that you get asked to let a marriage proposal happen after making an arrest on the soon-to-be groom. But it happened. Video to come. <laughs> and we have it. Here it is. If the time's right, you just go with it. Yeah. I don't I don't know about that one. I just that kind of um I don't know. I don't think I would have let him propose. I'd be like, you have six felony <laughs> warrants. You think you have bigger well, fish to fry we'll now. We'll just give you a maybe for now, and, yes. and we'll see you in about uh, 20 to 25. 20, 25 years. <laughs> oh, gave me something else. Give me, what, what, oh, we got some flooding. Got some more flooding. Uh, July 17th, diners at a Chinese restaurant were filmed ignoring the rising floodwaters around their table so they could enjoy a hot meal. Oh. Uh, the video was filmed Tuesday at a restaurant in 
Chengcheng Hulan Province shows a table of diners with their feet up on the benches of their booth enjoying a hot pot meal despite the waters rushing in around them. Uh, as the camera pans, there apparently are other customers there. Now, I, you know... Maybe the food is just that good. That's that's when you know you've got a good menu. I mean, I, when, I've, I've had some good Chinese food before. I don't know that I've ever had Chinese food that was so good that I would, you know... Risk my life Risk for? my life and uh, <laughs> health, I guess, for that matter, for... Uh, just casually propping their feet up on the benches to eat. Yeah. That's... I don't... No. No, no. I think I've, I'm getting out of town. Yeah, pretty We're much. We're further up in the sky. You could take the train. And if the train breaks down... Hey, like that segue? That was a pretty good segue right there. <laughs> uh, this happened. Uh, this happened about a week or so ago. Over tra from a train that was traveling from New York to Washington D.C., uh, got stuck on the tracks for several hours, uh, prompting at least one passenger to think outside the box. So uh, now I, I, I have only taken a Greyhound one time, and I was headed from Springfield to San Antonio, Texas. The trip that was only supposed to take about 10 hours or so ended up taking about almost 20 uh, because we, we blew a tire, and it was one of the inside tires, and we oh. were out in kind of no man's land, Oklahoma, about an hour outside of any actual town. So by the time that the wrecker actually got to us to change the tire out, we ended up sitting on the highway for about four and a half hours. And I wish I would have thought of this. Uh, basically, so they're stuck on the side of the tracks there, and uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, why not order a pizza? Seems like the logical thing to do. Right? Yeah. I mean, maybe you could have uh, tipped the guy a little extra give you a ride. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so they, the train experienced technical difficulties during its route, leading it to stop and wait for a rescue train to take the passengers. The wait got so long that Twitter user Mitch Katz ordered a pizza... Uh, got hangry and problem solved, he wrote in a message posted to Twitter. Um, also has a little video for this one too. So there you go. Just uh, something to kind of think about in the future. Props to the delivery man who just climbed downhill for a delivery to Amtrak 161. <laughs> Uh, says Michael Estevez or Estevi or something to that effect. I don't know. We're horrible with names. We we don't even try anymore. <laughs> Just go we with butcher it. it. We butcher it. Yeah. So I mean, you had all kinds of people that were tweeting about it, and uh, yeah. So just something to think about in the future if you ever break down on the side of the uh, tracks or on the side of the highway. Hey, who says you got to be bored? Who yeah. Says you got to be hungry. Store or pizza. There you go. They come to you. Mm hmm. All right, we go from pizza to something. Now I wear contacts, boo. You wear contacts. We we both understand that you got to take them out of your eyes, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Apparently not. No. A uh, British woman had 27 contacts on one eye. A uh, 67-year-old uh, woman uh, reportedly believed that she was experiencing discovered her high. Her eye, due to dry eye or old age, yeah, um, none of us had ever seen this before. Specialized, specialist trained ophthalmologist Rupal Mergeri told Optometry we, we Today. We don't try anymore. We don't try anymore. <laughs> There's no point. We don't try anymore. Uh, told Optometry Today. They have their own magazine, apparently. Mm. I need to subscribe to that one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it was a, a large mass. All of the 17 contact lenses were Ugh. stuck together. We were really surprised that the patient didn't notice it because it would cause quite a lot of irritation while you think? sitting there. Uh, after removing the first 17 lenses, oh the God. first 17 lenses, uh, the doctors found 10 more under the patient's eyelid. Wow. The patient had been wearing disposable contacts for 35 years but had not been going to the eye doctor for her regular checkups. 30 five years of contact buildup. You know, I hate it when one of them rolls up underneath my eyelid as it is. You know, I've got some that are just uncomfortable. Just, I mean, I only, I don't wear contacts, you know, by prescription or anything. I just wear costume contacts, you know, the white outs, you know, things like that. But, and this is something I quote from the doctor in this day and age, when it's so easy to purchase contacts online, people become lax about their checkups. Hmm. Yeah. 
So get your or just out. you know stupid, whatever you want to call it. Hey, Same I thing. go I go with the latter on this one. I mean yeah. that's just above up and beyond. Yeah, uh, I got a real quick story here just because uh, this is this is this is wonderful. Uh, it's no secret Germans love their beer. Oh God, yeah. You know, I hey, mean, we love doesn't? beer too. But well, there is a a metal festival that's coming to uh, going to take place over in Germany in August, and. Well, basically, if you, uh, you you might want to set up shop uh, n near this festival because uh, yeah, basically they're building a pipeline for beer. A German pipeline for beer. We know where Germans' priorities are. That are going to be supplied to a metal concert festival. So It's fresh, it's cold, it's now. And it's, it's running underground. So, yeah, yeah I mean, uh, <laughs> so yeah, a, a lot of uh, drunk... German metalheads. That yeah. would be a awesome. And that is going to be an awesome festival. We need to go to Germany. We do. August. We need it. We need it. Find take, us to go take, to Germany. Yes. We want to take the show on the road. Might as well go to Germany. Yes. So, we're going to talk more about uh, more about 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 about. More about alcohol and bars and stuff like that uh, coming up over the next couple of weeks. We're actually going to be taking the show on the road. I'm going to talk about some uh, some fun themed things and uh, appearing in other places outside of our little bubble here. Uh, so something to look forward to. But uh, I think that'll probably be our first uh, outing. Mm -hmm. So little little teaser there for you. Yeah. yeah. Got something that we missed? Hey, let us know down in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure you, that you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Sharing. Share. Sharing. Comment, subscribe. It's interpretive subscribe. dance. Yes. Ring that little bell. No, ring the little bell. Ring Click on the little bell bed. so you'll know when we upload ring something cool. Uh, you get notifications where we're at. Check us out on Facebook Live every now and then. We'll let you know because yeah. you never know. We might pop in, pop out. Is that about that time? Till next time. Hi, I'm James from Springfield, Missouri. And here's your wrestling clip of the day.